Hey, what's going on guys? It is Super here, bringing you another video to talk about a little bit of uh, Black Ops 3 and some information that's gonna be happening uh, during the beta. Um, two new specialists were announced for Black Ops 3 and it said that they were gonna be in the actual beta. So really, really excited because one of the specialists, if you guys don't know, specialist is a new thing that's gonna be coming to Black Ops 3 that is sort of like a, uh, special characteristic that a character has sort of like destiny um you know the warlock the hunter the um the titan you know they have special characteristics unique to their um you know class and for black ops 3 they're going to be called specialists and two of them were announced yesterday two specialists uh via the black ops 3 beta trailer if you guys haven't checked that out i'll leave a link to it in the description i'm sure you guys have already um but these new specialists are going to be included in the black ops 3 beta which is a really good thing because one of them i'm really concerned about the other one i'm not too much concerned about which is why i'm not going to talk about it too long but the one I'm not concerned about is called Spectre, and uh, you know there's not too much news. It, uh, the specialist ability is going to be you're going to be able to, um, you know, pretty much go invisible, like camouflage and stuff. And the specialist weapon is going to be the War Machine, which is really excited for you guys who are fans of the War Machine. I'm, you know, a fan of it myself. I'm really happy it's coming back in this Spectre specialist, but. The one I'm concerned about, and this is like the one thing I noticed in the trailer. I'm like looking through the trailer. I'm like, okay, yeah, like everything looks really nice. Everything looks cool. And then this popped up. The new, one of the new specialists called Battery. And the special list ability is pretty much armor that's going to make you sort of invulnerable to bullets. That's what it looked like in the trailer. And as soon as I saw this, I'm like, oh my God, please do not tell me that you're just not going to be able to get, uh, you know, damage is not going to affect you at all. Uh, this is even worse than Juggernaut. We all hate Juggernaut from, uh, you know, Call of Duty 4. We hate Painkiller from Black, uh, from Black Ops 2, from Modern Warfare 2. It's just the worst when you're actually, um, you know, you hit a target and they have, uh, you know, increased health. The only good thing about this is uh, from what I've heard from people who have played the game, specialist abilities take, uh, you know, a long time to get. They're not easy to get. And you're lucky to even get one or two in the entire game. So that's one positive thing. But let me read to you guys the description of the ability. So the ability itself is called Kinetic Armor. And the description is charge electrically reactive armor that sublimates enemy bullets on contact, turning them into vapor which dissipates harmlessly. And if you guys notice in the trailer, um, the person using this specialist ability, it looks like they are taking so many bullets. It pretty much looks like an assault rifle is just sitting there, um, you know, in a spot and using that person as target practice because it's getting hit by so many bullets and it's having absolutely no effect. So I'm really happy that this specialist is actually going to be in the Black Ops 3 beta because we're going to be able to test this out. I'm sure Treyarch put this in specifically to test it out to see if it's too overpowered because by the looks of it in the Black Ops 3 official trailer for the beta, it looks like it's going to be 10 times worse than painkiller because painkiller at least you got um you know you got to hit the person and lower the painkiller damage i think painkiller gave the person 300 uh 300 health and this thing it looks like like it says in the description it vaporizes bullets so it's not taking any damage whatsoever so i wonder how this is going to play out man i'm really really hoping it's not um you know it's not overpowered by any means and of course it's going to be in the beta so if it is overpowered we have nothing to worry about it's going to get fixed once the game comes out this is the beautiful thing about having a beta guys we could test things out and if something is too overpowered it's going to get fixed so let me know in the comment section what you guys think i'm sure you know nobody wants anything that gives players extra health or having them be invulnerable to bullets but you know what are we gonna do we can't do anything about it so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time.